guys, it's getting close to fall, and when fall season comes around, I like to make a uh, good peach cobbler, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna make a real easy, simple uh, peach cobbler recipe. It uh, just goes great just to have at the house, to snack on at night after a meal, or if you're having family or over after a big dinner, have a little dessert um, with some ice cream, peach cobbler, you can't beat it. I use um, frozen peaches, and I got two bags here. And what you do is you let them thaw out. They've already thawed out. And you get a stick of butter and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you let this melt while your oven's heating up. And we can um, start mixing the, um, the crust. You gotta have a good drink too. Let's see, um, what you wanna do first, you need to get your peaches and pour them over into a pot. Right there, we're gonna, you're not gonna really cook them, you're gonna just kinda warm them up a little bit so they generated some a good syrup. And these frozen peaches, when they thaw up, they'll have a little syrup in there, but you want to have a little bit more. And you don't want to take a, this is a half, this is about a, maybe a quarter cup of sugar right there. You sprinkle on top of your peaches. You turn that on on a medium high heat. Let that just cook down. It won't take very long to get them done. So the recipe is simple. You use a cup of sugar. This is for the, the crust. A cup of sugar, a cup of flour, and a cup of milk. So we're gonna get that going here. Get a cup of sugar. Huh? No, uh, peach cobbler. My son, Taylor, that's his big dough set over there. He likes banana pudding. He wants me to make banana pudding all, no, the, I like peach cobbler, all the time. I'm making a peach cobbler this time. And I use um, Martha White self rising flour. Get a cup of it. Use a self rising flour, that way you ain't got to put no baking soda, baking powder, nothing like that in it. And you get a cup of milk. That's it, you need to mix this up. Make sure you get, try to get all the lumps that you can out of it when you mix it up. So I'm gonna mix this up, and uh, as soon as I get it mixed up, I'll be right back. All right, I got the uh, mixture mixed up. You can come over here and look and see. It's pretty runny, it's not real thick. You know, you don't want it real thick, you want it pretty runny. And the peaches are, they're done. You wanna poach them a little bit, that's all. Turn that off. And the butter should be melted by now. Oh yeah. Alright. Now some people put the mixture in first and then spoon the peaches over to the mixture. But I was always taught to put the peaches in first. Spread out your peaches like so. And then you get your mixture. Like so. And when it's cooking, 
that um, mixture, the uh, crust, when it cooks, it'll rise up to the top. So now we gotta put this back in the oven and cook it at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And we'll check it. Forty-five. All right, we'll come back and check it. See how it looks after that. All right, guys, the timer just went off. It's been forty-five minutes. We're gonna get it out. And take a look at it. Man, yeah. Let me take a look at that right there. That is some kind of good. Now, my my wife, my awesome wife, loves a uh, like a crunchy crisp, uh, crunchy crust. So what I'm gonna do? This is done right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back in there for about, about 10 more minutes. Because like I said, she likes her crust, her, her, her crust crunchy, you know, crispy or whatever. So I'm going to put it back in there for 10 more minutes. And then the last maybe two minutes of that, I'm going to put it on broil to really um, brown the top of it. So uh, y'all just stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been in the oven on broil for about a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. And man, yeah, you see how that, when you put it on broil, it really crisps the top of it real good. Now, that right there is hot as molten freaking lava right now. So you got to let that sit and let it cool. So I'm just going to cover it up. With some paper towels right now, cause you don't want to cover it up with any kind of with any kind of uh, um, aluminum foil or anything like that, where it will sweat and the condensation will get on aluminum foil and drop back down. So you want to cover it up with some paper towels. That way it'll let it cool off and moisture won't build up in it. So once it gets uh, cooled off and uh, we can where it's not hot enough where it'll burn you so when we bite into it we'll uh we'll, we'll show you how how it is when you dip something out and how good it tastes y'all stay tuned all right guys it's cooled off enough now we can taste it and my lovely daughter anna grace is going to be a taste tester making a mess You have another taste tester. Well, he better go on back out where he somewhere else. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, let me have it. How does it taste, baby? Is it good? How good is it? Here, let me taste. You gotta have ice cream with your peach cobbler. Oh my God. Man, it's got a crispy crunch like my wife likes it. Is that not the best? That is so good, it's unreal. And look. A lot of people put cinnamon or pumpkin spice in their peach cobbler. I ain't never seen a peach come off a tree with cinnamon in it or oh, pumpkin spice. Leave that in your cabinet. You want peach cobbler to taste like peaches. You don't want it to taste like cinnamon. Where the hell have you ever seen a cinnamon peach before? <laughs> don't put cinnamon or pumpkin spice in it. It, it, it ruins, a, to me, it ruins the taste of, of the peaches. That's the best, easiest peach cobbler you can make. It's really good, simple, easy to make. Your whole family will love it. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel here. Smash that like button for me. Help me get this video out there. The more likes I get, the more my video goes out, the more people can see it. Subscribe to my channel. Hope you uh, like this recipe. If you make it, shoot me a comment below of, uh, of what you think about it. How's it taste? Uh, Y'all have a good day and God bless. Oh,